So what is going on guys, this is Ryan here and welcome back to Simulacra. Interesting does not even begin to describe this game. Fascinating? Maybe. I have never played a game like this in my life. Well, actually, yes, I have. Sarah's missing. In terms of a lengthy storyline, however, this game is completely unique. The last two episodes, we've had an ongoing story about the phone being delivered to my door in a mysterious package. And still, we have no idea who is on the other side of the phone. You guys may know I've been trying to decipher the thing, but I think the demon is actually following my Twitter account. And, uh, you know, you could do so too. A lot of you guys know I've recently been super sick and my voice has been completely gone. It may be like an octave. Or too deep right there. Octave. That sounds cool. Did I use that right? I had an interesting encounter with the demon, however, though, guys. He called my phone after seeing my tweet, and well, this is what happened. Hello? Yo, man, why are you recording if your vocals are mess? You gotta look after yourself, man. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I'm actually feeling a little bit better, though, you know. Oh, that's great news, man. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's pretty good news. I've got to say so myself. I see. Well, I guess that means I'm back to trying to kill you. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Okay, okay, bye. Hello? Hello? <gasps> freaking hung up on me. Before we kick this episode off, guys, I just want to say if you do enjoy this series and you want to see another one even sooner, leave a like rating down below. Let's say 10,000 likes for the next episode instantly. So we ended up here last time. We just read some recovered messages from both Ashley and Greg and things started to get a little bit interesting, especially with Greg and what he's been doing behind the scenes. Turns out that Greg has been doing some funky business. And when I say funky business, <clears throat> I mean funky business. Another interesting thing as well, guys, Anna on the home screen before was looking downwards and now she's made direct eye contact with us. So things are changing right now as we speak. I don't know why the background would change like that. It's pretty damn eerie, but I guess it's going to tap into something else that maybe we'll learn in this episode. Looks like Ashley and Greg weren't the only ones with unrecovered messages. Now we've got Taylor's recovered stuff. So let's see what was going on between Anna and Taylor. So animal person A, dog, cat. Only one, I hope. One is a handful already. I'm not the crazy cat lady age yet. Do you sing? Uh, occasionally. Prove it. Oh God. Taylor, please don't be crazy or... Oh. <laughs> Man, I wish those eyes weren't looking at me. I, um, I want your heart, love, and emotion endlessly. I can't get over you. Taylor. You left your mark on me. I want your heart, love, and emotion endlessly. I mean, it wasn't bad, but Taylor, you've just lost Anna as a gem. That wasn't actually that bad. So, oh, well, that's not bad. So is it true that the shower gives better acoustics? Yes, but I have to store the soaps and shampoos if I sing there. Otherwise, it'll be a... Right, I'm not playing. I'm actually quitting now. Taylor asked for Anna's number and she said she'll think about it and that's really as far as it got. Hey stranger, Anna posted something on Jabba. I guess she's alright because she's chilling at home. Yeah, I don't think so. Far from it, Taylor. We may be revealing a little bit much to this guy. I mean, he didn't even have Anna's number. Maybe they weren't the best of friends after all, but still, he's been a lifeline so far. Why does this keep happening? Like, we keep hearing these fourth wall breaking sounds where we are looking at our phone. Okay, imagine this, guys. We're looking at the phone. This is what the game wants us to imagine that we're doing right here. Occasionally, we'll hear a breath behind our head, like a paranormal element. Something is breathing on my neck. We're going to focus on this closely, guys, because I think this may tie into some kind of weird ending, or maybe it means something already. Maybe she just wants to be left alone. Uh, Taylor, shut your freaking mouth. shouldn't make jokes right now. I mean, we can tell he's the jokey type. He's apologizing. I'm all ears, what's up? So what happened exactly? Did Greg check her house or something? What about the post? He heard a strange noise, but no Anna. Uh, let me just check back a sec. We've got four mail right there. Now, I mean, do we let Taylor listen? It's, oh, it's such a tricky decision because like, could he be involved? I feel like you've got to speculate everything. I mean, the phone may be still recovering messages and maybe we've only seen half of it so far. So yeah, this is our one here. Let's send it to him and just see what Taylor has to say. This is odd. Anna would have called her phone by now if she is okay. Somehow she makes a post exactly the same time as when Greg is checking on her. Doesn't this sound a bit strange to you? Occam's Razor or Occam's... Ra Wait, what is that? What is Occam's Razor? Occam's Razor, the principle attributed to William of Occam that in explaining a thing no more assumptions should be made than are necessary. Let's say hypothetically there is a possibility that Greg somehow did something bad to Anna and he is hiding it from you. Uh, he sent me a voice clip? Uh, Just why? a random thought. What if Anna is deliberately trying to get away from Greg? Mm -mm. No, Maybe man. Maybe he bombarded her with calls and messages to the point where she just went, screw it, and chucked the phone away. Uh, you mean mailed it to a stranger's house, aka me. Let me say one thing about this Taylor guy. He sounds very well spoken, okay? So I'm just saying maybe he's professional at something. You know what they say, guys, suspect everything. 
uh, and be wrong most of the time. Let me just allow this guy to elaborate. What kind of person is Greg? He's kind of a douche. The phone date was almost deleted when he checks the laptop. He mentioned that he... Someone could be framing Greg. The phone date was almost deleted when he checked her laptop. This is troubling. Is he trying to obstruct justice? Why am I having this weird suspicion right now? Like, does anyone else feel this? I think he's hiding something big on the phone. Otherwise, why would he want to delete the phone's data? I think it was an accident. I don't think he did it. I think he did it. Mmm. See, now we're actually pointing the finger right here. Just because I'm unsure on if he did or didn't do it, I'm gonna say I think it was an accident. That kind of blames no one. Although he may be thinking... Okay, said every year... Uh, yeah, he thinks we're talking about Greg. He mentioned that he got blocked from her apartment. Aha! If they are indeed lovebirds, at most he won't have the keys. But getting blocked is a strong word, so maybe she's keeping him away. What else did he tell you? Anna met someone on Spark. You actually met Anna. Right, there is a possibility that a hot girl like Anna will get matched more than once. Uh, okay, I guess it is the website and you do use it for that. It could be you. Let me just say that and see exactly what Taylor says. If I met her, our job would be done and I wouldn't be talking to you right- Excuse me, don't you believe me? Do I believe him or not? I kind of feel that there's some suspicion underlying right here. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna say no. The best he can do is try and prove me wrong. You are not making this easy. It's way easier to prove that you've met someone than you haven't met someone. You can trust me, Scout's Honor. I think before we move on, you need to confront him and call him out. I got a new batch of phone stuff to look at. Same response to both, so I think Taylor may be going offline, and this is probably it. He's hiding something, and I can feel it. If he did something to Anna, we need to know what it is. Remember to get your facts straight and ask him about his actions and behavior. Maybe he will slip up and tell you something we don't know. All right, Mr. Frickin' Detective, jeez. Before we do that, let me just check some of these new inboxes, so we've got four new things. This is from Faraday, so Anna. Hey, I got your application, but the boss is sitting on it for now. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. My eyes are watering right now. I'm telling you, someone knows we have the phone right now. I have a suspicion all of this can't be so random as it seems. My head is just going every direction right now. I've got to find out more. So this is in regards to a study leave that uh, I guess Anna was requesting. And it seems like the boss heard about it. And then this lady here told Anna to text her when she's in the office to explain. Hello, Anna. The Consumer Society Myths and Structures is a singular object. So she was reading some new books, I guess. Merv at Faraday's. Hey, Anna. <laughs> What the freak? Uh, Hello, okay. I'm looking for Anna. I believe this is her number. Uh, can Hello? We... Uh, I think this is the answering machine. I'll just leave a message first. Freak, okay, let's... This is Detective Marillo from the police department. We received a report from one of your neighbors. She mentioned that there was a suspicious-looking guy entering and exiting your residence. Can you confirm if this is true? Call us if you wish to report a burglary. Greg, Thank you right? Let's finish up this. Hey, Anna, it looks like you're a receiver for my next week's company gift swap. I'm breaking tradition and I will get you something that you truly deserve. Uh, oh boy. Tell me your dress size and I will pick the perfect body for you. No, that's freaking weird. What? Okay, there we go. It's so confusing sometimes with these sequences when you know what it says, but you have to reword it differently. You somehow managed to look so hot in office wear, so why not I get you a smashing dress? Tell me your body size, make sure you give me your bust weight. Uh, ransom when your life is worth money. Traveling has its perks. In fact, it's one of the best ways to make friends experience in global life. Crossing borders has its charms, which includes whether you realize it or not, subjecting yourself to individual countries and their legal cultural quirks, crime being one of them. So this is talking about like kidnapping and stuff. So was Anna planning to travel in the two weeks that she had off? Did she meet someone during that time period? Get to the bottom of this spark thing. Greg, I need to ask you something. There's something on my mind. Same question, let's just go top. Let's talk about Anna's place. Okay, this is interesting. What about Anna's place? Did you activate the phone reset? Are you trying to delete evidence? Hmm, let's say the bottom one right there. I'm interested to see his reaction. We know he's kind of snappy. So, okay, still being snappy then. Are you calling me a liar? If I wanted the phone erased, why the hell do I back up the phone for you? That's real true. Because you screwed up? I kind of still feel like Greg may have done something. It's so difficult to tell where the story is going right here. The only one screwing around is you. Why the sudden interesting me? This is not the time to be pointing fingers. I think that may have been a bad call, man. So he's right, and we are sorry for that. I hope you're done wasting my time. Like this dude, you could tell. I don't know if he's hiding something, though. I still feel suspicious. What the freak is wrong with me? How about let's talk about your attitude? I said that before. He's always being like this. I mean, is he going to act like he doesn't have one? He's pretty douchey, to be fair, to be talking to someone like that who's actually trying to help him find his girlfriend. I am really stressed out over here, okay? I'm not sugarcoating anything for you. Just deal with it. That is also stupidly fair. Okay, chill. I'll deal with it. Oh, man. Watch the sarcasm. Let's talk about your relationship with Anna. I just want to delve into everything just to see how we respond. So you're a shrink now. 
Bro, this is creeping me the freak out. So let's recap this episode. Female breathing, then we had a knock at the door. Could that have been the door opening? Let's keep this backstory piecing together, guys. This is really interesting. Look at the background flickering. Did you guys see that? The world that we're in, where we're holding this phone in front of our face, things are changing. Why did she block you from her apartment? Now, this is an interesting idea. We had a fight, okay? Let's elaborate a little bit more. It's still breaking and entering. Kind of, I guess, without her permission. Hey, you helped. At the very least, you are an accomplice. What's with all the accusations? Make your point. You're not completely honest with me. This could go either way because it's true he's not been. He never told us about this fight. You are a random person who somehow got Anna's phone. I am not telling you any more crap. You have nothing on me, so if you want to start pointing fingers, make sure you have the proof. Why are you so defensive? Why are you so intrusive? I don't have the time for this. I'm not going to entertain any more questions about my life. You have nothing on me, and as he goes offline, we instantly get something new on the vlogger. So, wait, this one here? Oh, let's have a listen. Looks annoyed. What if I didn't? Huh? Didn't? What if I just went on living a lie? Whoa. And he can do it looking me dead in the eyes. God, and he hasn't stopped texting me since. Okay, who's he? Say your name, at what? least. What does that mean? I don't does know. he still love me? Talking about Greg? Then why would he... You know what? I hope it's positive. Wow. I hope she's pregnant. You want to leave him then? Yeah, he always wanted a family. Wow. Now everyone's happy. Ooh. Oh man, I'm so sorry. Everyone is not happy. Taylor just sent us Another this. Another random thought. Uh-huh. What if Greg killed Anna. What? So he's... Oh, maybe kill is a strong word. Yeah? But what if he hurt her or something and tried to cover it up? And all you hear from him is a lie. Bro, we need to wait huh. for more stuff to be recovered. I don't know why. The fact that Taylor is getting so into this stuff is creeping me out even more. Easy on the details. Anna left him because he cheated. Caught red-handed. Okay, or red-fingered because it's in text. Okay, that sounded w Aye. Yeah, bro, that sounded freaking disgusting. Who's the unlucky girl? Yolanda, who we've never spoken to, but I think Anna's friend saw her. Exotic name. You know that sounds like motive to me. Messy breakup, fight, things got a little vo Don't speculate too much. I just want to say one thing, though. Greg is on track to getting busted because there has been some kind of detective who's actually called us, or should I say the phone. In turn, it mentioned a man entering and then leaving. And I think he said breaking and entering. Greg's suspicion levels to the authorities is high on the list. You should call her and ask if she knows anything about Greg. Too scandalous for my taste. Taylor, like, we gotta keep our distance again. You're just some random dude she matched with. Look at how assertive he's being. I think it's time to give him what he deserves. Listen to this. So we have to find Yolanda and in turn that should reveal the truth. Now, we've got to try and find what Yolanda's number might be. Would we have a picture of it anywhere? We have this letter here with Yolanda's signature, 0405. Well, that's definitely not a complete number. So we know from Ashley that I think Yolanda held, well, she did, a Ferris and Kane footwear bag. Now I'm interested, do we actually have their number somewhere? Ferris and Kane, uh, no, I don't think so. Maybe we've got an email from them. The Ferris and Kane website. There's a call now. I mean, let's just click this. Let's call them straight away. So we're about to call Welcome this company. To Ferris and Kane, okay. Your personal shopper directory. Press Let's one go. to request for a shopper. Ooh. Press two to ask about being a patron. Okay. Press three to find out more about our latest promo. No, nah, I'm good. To to the main Let me just go one. You. Please indicate what you would like to purchase. Press one for robes and cloaks. Okay. Press she two had shoes. Was it dresses? Okay. Press three for innerwear. Press right. four for shoes and foot. Straight to if four. you know the extension number of your favorite. Oh four oh five. Please. Oh four oh five. Four digit extension number. Oh four oh five. Look at this. You. Yes. Your personal shopper assigned to you is Yolanda. Mm, let's get Due it. To our increasing demand, we can only take a limited amount of clients at a time. Okay. After this call. Please wait for us to text you at our latest convenience. Oh, we gotta wait. Thank you for picking Ferris and Kane. All right, freaking nice goodbye. Day. My name is Yolanda. How can I assist you? I'm not here for shoes. I need your help. Oh my freaking God, dude. I thought there was someone at my door right there. I was about to be... Hello? 
Hello? I would like to know your best selections, bro. We gotta try and work this in so that she doesn't suspect anything, gets to know us maybe uh, like a smidgen, and then we can probably go in with the hook, line, and sinker. All right, screw this junk. Let's get back to it. I'm looking for you, actually. Ooh. Straight to the point. Sir, this is a professional service. If you are not looking for shoes, I suggest we end this conversation now. We can say we're from the police department. That would be like a blunt light, and then we can get ourselves involved. No lying here. Let's just ask about Greg. If she hangs up... Wait, she doesn't... Summers? Oh, she knows. Who is this? What can you tell me about Greg? He's a first class liar. I'm not getting involved with him again. Oh, so she didn't like him. He's looking for Anna. Let me see a response here. Does she know who she is? He's fully capable of finding that perfect... Uh, uh, she has gone missing. How about that as a statement, Yolanda? As in missing. Yeah, as in caps lock missing. If you're implying that he did something to Anna, I highly doubt it. He's not a criminal. So you two dated. He has two girlfriends. That's true. How long was he with this Yolanda for? When she found out about me, all hell broke loose and I ended up being the other girl. How did it end? This is what we can learn a little bit about Greg and maybe his mannerisms towards this sort of stuff, considering he caused this? When it comes down to making a choice, of course he went for Anna, and I get the half <laughs> voicemail breakup. All right, let's hey, listen. Yolanda, I got your text. So, you know, now that the scare is over, oh, the I think we should stop seeing each other i see him in a new light oh my gosh greg i hope it's a peak yeah it, it most likely is he still cares about her now everyone thinks i'm the bad person it's not your fault you should have seen this coming he fooled all of us i mean he kind of did if i knew he had a girlfriend i would have stopped immediately i miss the days where opinions can only go as far as you can yell uh who's this dude brandon k oh dear what is your deal seriously where is your head at you lander just called me uh <clears throat> Got, got a new vlogger! What is love this one was called, by the way? Love is... being there. Love is being honest. Someone in the back? Love is... being... belonging. Love is... patience. Maybe. Mm. Okay. There's someone breathing in the back. Love is... Listen carefully, hold up. Dude, hold up. There was someone else there. There was someone else in the back. That sounded like male breathing. All right, so back to Greg. I just want to know the full story, like outright. You've crossed a line and you brought her into this mess. Well, we needed to know he wasn't telling us nothing. I'm really sorry. Let me just see if he changes his mentality towards us. The damage is done. Another girl who is peeved at me and I hope you're happy. Greg asked us to forget about it and now he's actually mentioning this person on Spark saying that he may be just messing us... The freak was that flash in the back right there? What do you really know about him? He makes a lot of lewd jokes. He did ask for Anna's selfie. He did sidetrack the investigation. He did indeed. Hold up, hold up. So pointing the finger at me was his idea all along. And you said that I am the one with things to hide. He asked for Anna's selfie. He has her identity. He makes a lot of freaking weird jokes. That he does as well. What kind of nutcase would joke about someone going missing? Uh, that's a fair point. I won't be surprised if he had some kind of criminal record. He's just eccentric. That's one way to put it. Look what I found. Spike related crimes saw us increasing... Oh, gosh. Several arrests were made linking the crimes they've committed to the popular dating app. So... Oh, shoot. This ain't good. There is a link at the bottom that brings you to a registry site. Wait, just here? Okay, let me click this. Um, Division of State Police. So this would have screenshots of people on it, maybe? We can search a name. Freak. Who was that? Was that Greg? Or was that the other guy, Taylor? We know his first name is Taylor. We can't check him as a person. That's the point. That sounds awful. And true. Yeah. I'm not liking this. You said that Anna matched with several people on Spark. Anna's notebook mentioned that she met someone. I can feel that we are getting close. Punch in all of the names on her spike matches, see what you can find. So I'm hopping back over to Taylor now, guys. I want to see if I can get anything with his last name in. You... Okay. More, more female breathing. Okay, I'm just going to imagine it's all in my head. It's all... In... No, it's not. Where did you get your charming personality? I'm thinking we play it cool. And then with that, maybe he'll actually try and like give us his last name. Are you hiding anything? Is everything all right? Is Greg giving you ideas? Because I don't trust that dude. And he's just, he just straight up went. Oh my God. His name, Taylor Herrera. Here we go, guys. His name is in. We're so 
Are you serious? Six matches? We have to... It's age and location. I think he's 22. Check out my update. Works at Fine Studios. These are two things that we can potentially use to gain, I guess, access to stuff. I know Anna does follow him on Jabba. So, oh, I accept. No, I'm not freaking liking that. You can't go on his profile on Jabba unless there's like a drop down menu, maybe. All right, guys, I can't find exactly the location. So I think Greg may be able to help us out here. I need a location. That's the one thing I'm struggling to find. Looks like Greg may be trying to help. Is he on Jabba? Some posts have that. That's it. Greg, you freaking genius. I did not think to look there. So I was on the right track. I just needed to look a little bit closer. Greg. You're a genius. Here we go, guys. This is it. We know it's called Springwood. Let's see. Rec oh my gosh. Open and gross lewdness and indecent ex... Oh my gosh. No, 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 no. She's... What have we done? We've been talking to a predator on an app and I had no freaking idea. This could be key. If he met Anna and he's hiding that from us, this might raise all alarm bells and change the direction of this investigation completely. For now though, guys, I am going to leave this episode here. So we just learned about some crazy details and honestly, I don't even know what to think right now. I gotta let the game keep rolling for me to figure this one out because it is getting complicated, but there is an answer somewhere. If you guys do want another episode, as said before, all you gotta do is leave a like rating down below and if it gets enough likes, we'll return to this series sooner than later. So if you guys did enjoy this video, why not drop me that like? Like and hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here? So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I of course hope you did enjoy, and I will of course see you on the next one.